This video is going to be a combination and unboxing and review of a new radio I picked up today. It's the Baofeng UV3R. Uh, I can't really call it a straight unboxing because uh, obviously I've already unboxed it. Uh, I picked this up from a radio supply company called Austin Amateur Radio Supply in Texas. Uh, I've never done business with them before. Uh, the price seemed right on their uh, on their website. They had them in stock, and uh, I was able to pick this up for fifty nine ninety five, and then I paid uh, an additional twelve ninety five for the programming cable, which really looked like it was uh, going to be necessary because this this little radio, you know, kind of the one downside is it looks kind of complicated to uh, program manually. Uh, the company did not charge uh, shipping. It says right on their website that they won't charge for shipping for this particular radio and they didn't. Um, so I was very happy with that. It came uh, very well packaged uh, in, a, in a box full of packing peanuts. Uh, I ordered this uh, on Friday a week ago <clears throat> and even with a, a delay yesterday due to a snowstorm where we didn't get mail delivery here where I live um, I, I would have had it in less than a week, but uh, as it was, I ended up uh, getting it a week from the day I ordered it, which uh, I'm very pleased with that. Um, this is the uh, the radio. It's, uh, as you can see, very small, uh, very compact, very lightweight. It's, it weighs, you know, just a matter of a few ounces. Uh, I thought I'd uh, give you kind of a side com size comparison here. This is a, an older unit in Bearcat scanner that I've had for years. Um, it's about the size of a normal portable radio that I'm familiar with uh, using. Um, and you can see, I mean, it's not even half the size. Uh, again, another little bit of a size comparison. This is a standard radio pouch uh, that I carry actually uh, this uh, scanner in sometimes. Um, you can see, I mean, the, the radio is uh, very small, uh, very lightweight. A couple of things that you get when you uh, get the radio, it does come with an instruction manual. The manual is uh, very sparse. Uh, there's not a lot of detail in it. Um, using the, uh, the instruction manual here, I still haven't found out how to make my radio scan. Um, which I, uh, I'm going to try to do here. Uh, you get a drop-in charger, which is, this is just for the battery. You have to take the battery out of the unit to, to plug this in uh, to charge it, and then you could put the, uh, the radio up, up here. Um, but uh, you get the, uh, the power cord, which you're supposed to plug into the bottom of this. But you can, in fact, plug, uh, plug plug the charger straight into the side of the unit. It actually goes here where it says DC. This little cover flips up. Um, so let's see if I can do this uh, one-handed. It, uh, it just goes into a standard socket there. Um, that's how I actually charged it. When I got the radio, it, uh, it came fully charged up. Um, and ready to go. Uh, it also came with this uh, earbud and mic, uh, push to talk mic, which I haven't even taken this out of the package yet. I don't know if I'll be using it anytime soon. It also came with this uh, little lanyard, I guess. Uh, I don't know again that I'll be using that, but uh, you know they did throw that in. Uh, I f doing some research on the internet, I found that there was uh, some free software that you could get which I'll include uh, links to the software. Um, the radio frequencies there you're seeing are actually uh, frequencies that came already pre-programmed on the radio. Um, I have actually used this software already today to program uh, local frequencies um, that I, I kind of want to listen to for now. Um, and since the radio is uh, UHF and VHF, 
Um, it could be programmed for mirrors, uh, FRS, GMRS, uh, the maritime frequencies. Um, you can set the, uh, the receive frequency here, the transmit frequency here, all the codes. You can set it for a wide or narrow band and high or low power. On high power, the max radio output is 2 watts. And on low power, it's uh, a half a watt, or a little less than a half a watt. Um, I'm not really sure what the, uh, the legalities there of uh, of using it on like FRS and GMRS and mirrors on low power would be. Uh, you know, I can't really speak to that. I'm not really a big radio guy. I know how to use them, but you know, programming them and some of the stuff is kind of all new to me. So. Uh, it also gives you the ability to program in for your local FM stations if you if you want to um, to listen to FM radio. Um, I kind of think that's a neat little side benefit of the radio. Uh, the radio is a, a dual band UHF and VHF system. Uh, if you give me a second here, I'll power it up and uh, I'll show you. Uh, uh, a little bit of the display and a, and a couple of uh, uh, kind of a neat little feature I think that this radio has. Um, so give me just one second here and I'll be back. Well, I have her powered up. As you can see, it is a dual band, dual display. Uh, I have the top frequency, I think, is either GMRS or FRS frequency. The bottom one is. Uh, a mirrors frequency. I just kind of have those on there for display to show you that it'll it'll do both uh, both ranges there. Um, one of the neat little things here on the side is this uh, orange button. If you uh, press and hold it down just for a second, the little LED light comes on. It's uh, it's actually uh, pretty bright. You could use it, uh, you know, to to get into your in and out of your car. Uh, you know, see to use your keys or something. Um, just kind of a little side little benefit of it. Uh, don't know how much use I'll make of it, but it's just kind of a neat little thing that it does. Um, the radio does scan. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Uh, it's kind of a on my list of things to do today. Um, but uh, so far I'm, uh, I'm very pleased with the unit. Um, it's, uh, it's very small, it's very compact, very lightweight. Seems like it's fairly well made. I mean, I, I'm sure it's not waterproof uh, or anything like that, but, uh, you know, for what I paid for it, you know, I think I'll get some decent use out of it. Um, I, uh, I guess I'll keep you guys posted and let you know how it goes. Uh, maybe if I figure out how to get it to scan, I'll, uh, I'll do another video and show you how to do that. Uh, but I just thought, you know, today I'd... Uh, I put this up. I will include some links in the notes there on where I found the software and also a link to the to the website where I bought the unit. Um, if you have any questions, I'll do my best to, to answer them. Like I said, I'm not really a, uh, a radio guy. Uh, I know how to use them. Uh, this is kind of my first foray into programming them and that kind of thing. So uh, hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully I'll be able to figure all this out and maybe bring you guys along for the ride. So uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.